Okay, welcome to the Blind Sense Podcast. I'm your first host, Mike. I'm your second host, Morris. How are we doing today, folks? I don't know how they feel, but uh, (laughs) I'm definitely more rested from the last time we tried this. Yeah, we did an oopsie and echo, and so we're recording this. But anyways. This Kickstarter that that totally doesn't need our help. (laughs) No, because it's already almost 500%. But we love the game, so we're going to promote it anyways. Which is uh, Aventurian Magic. Yep. Dark Eye, specifically the D20 set, not to card game. So. So we're promoting. We're doing our best. We love this game, so we're going to promote it to the nines. with this kickstarter here morris uh in euros again but yep. that's just because you know in their They're infinite in wisdom euros, kickstarter okay. thinks that's a great <laughs> idea <laughs> all right kickstarter, you know <laughs> so yeah they got the one euro pledge if you're a retailer where you can go ahead and add more to it later to set your store up with stuff so it doesn't apply to the vast majority of us and i see there's only one backer on that right now then you got the illusionist category, which is probably more along my lines. Yeah, PDF versions, yep. Mm-hmm. But scrolling down here to start that out at pledge level. So illusionist is where you get your digital pledge, where you're going to get a PDF of Magic of Adventuria, Conspiracy of Mages, Legacy of Theater Knights, and then you get a character folio for spellcasters and set uh, one and two of the cards for PDF, and it translates to about fifty bucks on the conversion rate. All digital, yeah. Well, then you get your uh, physical pledge for the magical dilettante, uh, where you get a physical copy of the Magic of Adventuria card set one and two. Get some of those sweet fate points that we've been waiting forever for them to relay and release the the fate the, point the tokens. Next set, yeah. Uh, get the full content from the digital pledge level. So any of the digital PDFs you would be getting, you get there as well. And that's for a hundred approximately. Yeah. Then you got mercenary. This is specifically for people who are new to this. So if you stumbled across this video and don't know what the hell Adventuria is and what this the dark is. is. Start. Yeah. This does not include the new stuff. It's just to get you up to date with the old stuff. And then there's tack-ons that you can have uh, later on. So then you get Guild Mage. Which is my pledge level. Yeah, because you got to be the big boy here with your deluxe red leatherette edition of the same physical yeah, book. I haven't pledged yet, but I, I need to wait till I get my sweet, sweet pay on tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. So. But you get cards set one and two. Uh, the fate point set again, and then all the digital rewards. And pretty then, much identical to the first one, except for the red leather. That's the difference. Pretty much. And then those of you who really have too much money burning a hole in your pocket can get in on, on Archmage, which is a limited black edition uh, made with real leather and handcrafted of the instead of the leatherette physical copy. Again, yeah. card sets, again, fate points and all digital, and that's 175 to get in at that level. Sweet, sweet book, though. Looks, well, it doesn't look anyway anything to me, but it sounds really cool. So one thing that I know last time we were recording this, like, kind of, I'm like, eh, it doesn't say it here in this overview graphic. You were saying the, the digital stretch goals would still extend to the illusionist. Yes, I actually looked that in the comment section. They actually mentioned that, yeah, if you unlock new digital, re- digital, whatever, it does apply to the digital rewards. They just forgot to mention it in the in the pledge level, from what I understand. Yeah, and I think part of the reason why they have that in the overview graphic is because their the physical stretch goals like are not going to happen for digital only. 
but right. still I draw attention to that because like that's one of only two concerns I would have about this kick. It's pretty unclear in the beginning too. And like I said, I I constantly click on the new comments and see what anybody has to say. And I actually come across that in there that they said that the new digital rewards that are unlocked are actually added to the thing. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. That's, that was the one thing I was worried about too. When I first saw it, I'm like, wait a minute. And then, like I said, I did some research and it looks like it's going to be added. So. Okay. But then you get your add on bundles and this is where uh, you can add extra things after your pledge level uh, to supplement whatever you don't have or want to get. So you get or you the, get, or you can just add it onto the pledge level, and then that way you get a the the Kickstarter gets you know you open up more stretch goals. Mm -hmm. You do that early on, you can you know that'll add to the stretch goals. So okay, I was unaware that that was an option. Yeah, that's but. actually the way they do it. You can actually add the extra now, and then come back later when when the pledge manager comes in. You can add it what you want, basically. So if you if it costs fifty, you add fifty to your normal pledge or whatever later you can just add it you can you know click that's what i'm getting you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like at 60 we have the essentials bundle where you got corp rules uh pocket edition uh venteria almanac pocket edition bestiary pocket edition the vampire of advena adventure from the pre previous uh kickstarter that we were on and deluxe character folio um, accessories, this is where you get advantages and disadvantages card set, combat and special ability card set, liturgies and ceremonies card set, spells and rituals card, uh, adventuria map pack, GM screen, figure pawn set, and on Avery's path set. Uh, that one then was 75 compendium Still bundle for all, all three of those yeah that's... like that's the thing about these kickstarters is like they do give you discounts enough to make it worth your while to get in still while the kickstarter's on it's mm -hmm. not a huge discount from just getting it from their store for the physical or going to uh, drive through rpg for the digital but like it's enough that it incentivizes you right exactly so, Compendium Buttle, you get the Compendium Hardcover, the Armory Hardcover, Death and Grangor, uh, Deluxe Mundane Adventurer Folio, Hit Zone Dice, NPC Card Deck, Compendium Card Set, and Armory Card Set. So, basically, the stuff from the last Kickstarter. Yeah, those, that, not both of those books, are, the Armory and the Compendium, were really well done, I think. And that's 140 to get in on that, roughly. Then you get War and Kingdoms bundle is 120 to get in on that. Uh, you get War and Kingdoms source book, map set, armory, Heroes Beviary, new bonds and ancient quarrels, card set, Sound of the Spheres soundtrack, and the Andergastian graphic novel, which I think is like the one thing I don't really have that I might want to look into. What uh, what that costs a la carte from their store? I think it's about ten bucks. Nine bucks, like which that. is not too bad. It might be a little more, um, you know, because I don't remember. But yeah. Uh, then we get into add-on products. Now, just like for the uh, Adventuria Adventure card game, you get the wooden card boxes at at forty a pop. Mm -hmm. um, the Almanac, Magic, Arsenal, or Lundworm covers. Uh, you get all rolled up, compact hobby hobby wrap, which is near as we can tell from their depiction here is the map of Adventuria, and then you can put like dice and pens and pencils in it, kind of like a a uh, bundle sack for if you were you know taking it yeah, to the game. Yeah, your GM supplies basically. Yeah. Yeah. Folding dice trays uh, come in two sizes. That's uh, one for fourteen dollars for the larger, or twelve dollars approximately for the smaller. Uh, so it's about you know eight by eight inches for the one, or seven and a half to six and a half inches for the other. Reinsert enough of a length to please the ladies. Penis joke in here because reasons. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're we're bad. That's why. <laughs> but we're funny. We're, at we're, it. we're horrible people inside. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. But yeah, you got your Cave Dragon's Fury, your Forest of No Return, Ship of the Lost Souls, or Demonic Battle for the larger ones, 
or the images on the uh, smaller ones are Knight of Andergast, Scorch of Mirabon, Giant Wyvern, or Heroes of Adventuria. Uh, stretch goals. Now's where we get to see whether they updated these today or not. I'm pretty sure they did. So uh, they funded it. Yay, wahoo. Like That's the whole goal, guy. That's not a stretch goal. That was 36 minutes they did that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even said so in the graphic. Um, enhancement card spells for elemental spells. So 11 elemental cards. Uh, 15 influence card spells, which is more up my alley. Uh, 11 cards for healing spells, 11 cards for enchantment of objects. Uh, we got upgraded to the deluxe character folio. Uh, you know, it's getting upgraded for its physical rewards. Uh, you get your illusion cards, 10 cards for illusion enhancements. You get 12 magical songs. Uh, you get... Enchantment cards for telekinesis and transformation, nine cards there. You get more magical songs for another 12 cards for that. You get uh, the essentials bundle with deluxe character folio and accessory bundle on Avery's path stretch goal. And it also counts on the mercenary pledge level. Those get upgraded. Uh, you get six cards for clairvoyance. You get 26 cards more for magical dances. Jeez. 26. Yeah, yeah, 26, just out of there. Uh, so then you get the uh, Magic of Adventuria poster, which again is that Amira Bond scorching the, the uh, mummies and Carolyn and uh, getting choked out and uh, the dwarf fighting one off. That that image over again. Still pretty but good it, image. Well, it's, a nice, it, it, it's a nice image. It's one of the ones that they put up whenever we played that Adventuria card game for the first time. So right. like... That, uh, yeah, that makes a nice poster. Makes a nice poster for my room, because <laughs> I don't have anything on my wall, so, you know. Well, there you go. Well, 14 cards for anti-magic spells. You get Conspiracy of Mages upgraded for the physical version. Uh, you get Enhancement cards for the core rule spells, so another 45 cards for Magic Card Set 1, including the list of enchantments for spells of the core rules. Cool. You get 23 cards for the Magic Card Set 2 covering cantrips. You get awesome. 8 cards for Magic Card Set 1 covering enhancements for demonic and sphere spells. Ooh. And uh, now the one that they've added in that is still locked right now, but probably not for long, is when they hit 30,000, we add an extra Conspiracy of Mages character sheet to all physical rewards. Ah, cool. So let's see how far away we are. We're at 27,486. So, yeah, it'll, it'll hit that before the end. Probably. Probably. We got 18 days left. I'm so, pretty sure. <laughs> the only other concern that I had, because these guys have been really good at, at fulfilling, you know, maybe, <clears throat> maybe things don't exactly go exactly as on time as they should at times. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you're going to hit snags. The thing I see here is, and I'm thinking that this is just the way that they're forced to do it. They're going to determine the cost of shipping at the moment of distribution, not the moment of purchase. If rates change in the meantime. Right. Which, hopefully economies hold strong, but you never know. <laughs> It's a nice thing that they have four dis distribution centers around the world, too. So mm -hmm. we have one in the United States, so it probably won't be too bad for us. Yeah, it's, it's those it's those over the, you know, over the country border shipping costs that really get you. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, if it's EU friendly, I'm wondering how that whole Brexit thing is going. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Not, not for this well, video. Last I heard. Not yeah. for this video. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah, we're we're trying to stay out of the politics, but try. We usually fail miserably, but you know, we try. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah. I'll just go ahead and play their little video in the background because uh one of the things they told Mike I noticed was um they had done a good job with uh animating the stills in this video. But I couldn't help but notice one of the magic users has censored nipples. 
because oh yeah because of course she she would <laughs> because you know american you know puritanical something or other yeah yeah the puritans ran over here and now we can't appreciate boobies anymore yeah only violence that's the only thing we're allowed to have in, in america violence oh boy <laughs> well they never censor violence really but well, yeah there's but yeah 18 <laughs> days left on this um hopefully we get this up quick because you know we, we were trying to get it whenever it first started and there was 20 days but things happened yeah nah, well. what are you gonna do technology and stuff it's great when it works, but you know when it doesn't, it really sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, it or helps. Was our boo boo more than yeah. Anything. It helps if I had made a beginner mistake, but you know that happens. I'm tired and stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Didn't think about it. It's all good. Okay. Anyways, I think that's pretty much covered what we wanted to talk about today. Um, can't think of anything else. Can you, Morse? No, we're coming up on Arcane Bards. That's one thing I'm going to enjoy. Yeah. Arcane Dancers, that's where your boobies are. You all saw it. Now it's in the <laughs> video and no one can deny it. <laughs> Should be, I don't know. Mesmerize, mesmerize with the boobies? I don't know. I'm probably. Well, you know, they mesmerize me and I can't even see it. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So I guess that's our time, people. That's our time. Adios. Music used for this podcast, Orc March by Snowflake, featuring Wolf Sebastian and Spinning Merkaba, is available from CC Mixter under the Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. You can find it at dig.ccmixter.org or find a direct link to it and its license information in our Blind Sense podcast descriptions. Hey kids, what kind of characters would you build with the new magic abilities coming out for Dark Eye? I mean, I'd probably try out a magical bar just to see how that is in this system, but I suppose you could even be a wiseacre and go down that whole pastry chef route again. A pastry chef, born with innate magical ability. And I guess you could make, like, actually wondrous wonder bread. Oh, you know what? Make yourself a Keebler elf, but, you know, in a non-trademark infringing way. Yeah, that'd be something. Then once you've got it done, email it to Mike at Volantrix at gmail.com. That's Volantrix spelled V-A-L-A-N-T-R-I-X. Yeah, he'll love that. Okay, see you, bye.